How many times over the past year and a half have we heard from the leaders of Idaho's major health care providers coming together as a group en masse to express their COVID-19 concerns in force? It was usually a good indicator that we were facing a situation that was not good. Well, here we are again. Earlier today, healthcare leaders from St. Luke's, Primary Health, and St. Alphonsus made it clear in one voice, in terms of COVID, we're heading in the wrong direction. Joe Paris joins us now with insight on their message. Joe, I know you've been following this Delta variant and stuff and watching the growing case numbers as they progress, but are things really much worse? Much, I guess, yeah, are they much worse than they were a month ago? Are they much, much worse in the sense that we're in dire straits right now, Brian? No, but what we learned from healthcare leaders today is that where we're on right now, well, we're on a path that leads to a bad situation. As Brian mentioned, we heard from leaders at St. Luke's Primary Health in St. Alphonsus this afternoon, and they agreed that the growing case counts and hospitalization numbers, they are a problem. And let's look at the numbers. One example that we can touch on is the new daily cases of COVID in Idaho. We hit the 14 day average low of 66 new COVID cases back on July 6th, so a few weeks ago. Well, in between that time, we've seen some increases and we're now averaging 159 over the last two days. So that is more than double. This is what Idaho health care leaders mean when they say that they are concerned. We're not doubling from one to two cases or five to 10 cases or even 20 to 40 cases. We went from 66 to 159 and growing. Now, I know some of you at home may not be alarmed by the simple numbers that we're telling you right now, but the trend is what we're trying to highlight here, exponential growth. And you could see on the right side of your screen on that previous graphic, it was starting to go the wrong direction. And it's the same situation here with hospitalizations and admittance into the ICU. They are on their way up. Back at the beginning of July, less than a month ago, we were seeing about 70 to 90 new cases of COVID admitted into the emergency room. Well, now more recently, we're seeing higher numbers in the last few days, 110 to 130 in that range. So it is increasing. Are we back in the major issue territory like we saw in November and December? No, and we're far from it. You can see right in the middle of your screen the huge peak there back at December of 2020. If you look to the far end of your screen there, no, we're not in the same neighborhood, but what we're trying to highlight here is the recent trend and it has the early showings of a new wave with the potential of more exponential growth in cases. Now, Dr. Jim Souza with St. Luke's Health System he tells us that things were improving for a while, but recently that all changed. Throughout this time, COVID was a relatively small and stable part of our inpatient care, 5%. Now it's doubled to 10%. And that is the straw that is straining the back of our um, care capacity. So the problem with this straw, if you will, is that it has the potential to become an entire bale of hay over just a few weeks. And that would be a major problem. As the state of Idaho, less than half of our population is fully vaccinated and healthcare experts have told us for weeks and months, this leaves the door open for more contagious spread like we're seeing with the Delta variant. It's able to spread and cause more issues because of the low vaccination rates around our state. So the experts are telling you this, and I know you've heard it a thousand times. We'll tell you a thousand more. If you're eligible, medical experts say they strongly advise you go get a COVID vaccine as soon as possible. Now, one other thing that I asked healthcare leaders about this afternoon was the backlash that they've received recently from their announcement that employees at St. Luke, St. Alphonsus, and Primary Health, well, they need to get the COVID vaccine or they risk losing their employment. As we've highlighted, there is a thorough process of exceptions for medical or religious reasons within that. But I asked if there's a concern that a large wave of employees may quit over this announcement, like some in our community have implied. Some saying that we'll be out of healthcare workers because of the amount that is going to quit. Well, the answer from the healthcare leaders is no, they're not concerned and they're honest. They hate to see medical workers, especially during these times, leave and go on to something else. But at the end of the day, healthcare leaders say they are okay with current staffing and they're not concerned. They say that they've worked through challenges and Brian, unfortunately, we've seen our healthcare system work through extreme challenges earlier in the pandemic. Uh, entire medical centers were closed. Entire staffing systems had to be reworked as patients and uh, employees were seeing increasing COVID incidents and they had to stay home. They couldn't be in the hospital, the, the employees that is. So are we in a dire situation today on July 22nd, Brian? No but we are headed that way as the, the trends are indicating. And again, I'll say this one more time. If you can get the vaccine, experts say it's safe, it's effective, and it's really our best defense right now if you can get it. Since they're still seeing 
only or seeing 99% of those people that have COVID or have caught COVID recently unvaccinated. Still correct? Still correct. I know that there was a graphic a lot of people talked about that since January, 99% of COVID cases were unvaccinated. Well, you can take that time frame from March through now, May through now, July through now. It remains the same. High 90%. All right. Thank you very much, Joe.